Hello everyone, and welcome to a let's play that I'm putting together of uh, Civilization V Vox Populi. Uh, I've been thinking of doing this for a while. Uh, I do play the game probably a little bit too much. I'm uh, not an expert at it by any means, but uh, I thought, why not take what uh, little I know and try to put it online. Anyhow, uh, we're going to be playing as Morocco in this let's play. And um, it's a good civilization. It uh, gets a bonus from trade routes and also lets you build the Casbah, which is a little castle you can put right next to your city. That gives you a, a big uh, bonus improvement to tiles. And um, yeah, we're going to be playing on level uh, 6, which is Emperor level. Let me just bring that up there. So uh, it's which is pretty difficult in Vox Populi. I have played a few games. Uh, in Fox Populi before. Uh, it's tricky, but uh, it is beatable, so uh, let's see if we can win this one. So we're gonna start off by founding our starting city right here. This looks good, we've got some wine up here, we got the wheat, we got some olives, we're on the river. This looks pretty good. Let's see where we go from here. Uh, right off, we are working the wine, which is pretty good. We've got the gold, we've got the hammers coming in from that. And I'm going to start off by building a shrine, because I want a chance to gain a religion. Because if you get one, that has uh, huge benefits. So uh, let's start by exploring a little bit to the west here. Oh, we've got a ruin already. And oh yeah, I've got to choose a research. Um, so let's see, we have wine. We're going to want plantations pretty soon. Uh, okay. And let's see, so plantations are up here. Uh, I think it probably makes sense to go for... Oh, I've got archers there. Let's go for animal husbandry first. So let's see if we can find some horses, because those are pretty useful. And next turn. And already. I guess that means India's in the game somewhere. Goddess of Love. Okay, well, let's, uh, we're going to get our own pantheon fairly soon with that. Okay, and what do we get? We got culture. It's a good start. And the barbarians are down there. Well, let's keep going. Oh, silk. That's really good. Silk's a really good early term, uh, early in the game uh, resource because you can uh, use it while it's still in, uh, still covered with forests and still pretty useful. So let's go up here. So what, oh, we found the coast. Oh, no, oh, we found two ruins. That's pretty good. So it looks like a pretty good spot for a city. We're going to want to get the the silk and the uh, wheat there. And so let's go up here. And uh, unit upgrade. That's pretty good. Skets are pretty valuable early on. Oh, yeah, I've got two silk here. This could be a great city. Interesting to know if there are any fish in the bay over here. So let's come down here and grab the other ruin. And yeah, there's that bar barbarian encampment, but we figured that... Oh, there's a city-state down there. We're going to want to make contact with those guys. And next turn. Okay, what does this uh, set of ruins have? Oh. Like Victoria. And Even having... brute beasts. And... Okay, uh, let's... what do we get from that? I think we got a free technology from that. Uh... Okay, and Lake Victoria is right there, so if we want that, we're gonna have to get it before the city state does. So, who is this city state? Uh, Zurich. And we got 67 gold. This is a lot of ruins. Okay, n normally you don't get this many, but uh, I'm liking this. This is pretty good. So, uh, what happens next? Uh, okay, uh, and got a promotion already. Could be uh, faster mo movement in jungles and forests. Uh, fast way. Uh, I don't want to come that close to the barbarians, so let's come up around this way. And unit needs orders. Next turn. So this is going pretty good so far. Except uh, we're going to have to 
I'll sneak past those barbarians somehow. I'll just go straight to the ruins over here. And we got more culture, that's good. We're getting pretty close to our first social policy. Let's go for the next turn. Oh, there's Jade down here too, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of good places around here to found another city. So let's see, we got the Jade, oh, we got the uh, another city-state down there, so let's see who that is. So they're probably gonna get the Jade. We got Genoa, the 45 gold. Got a bunch of gold. We could probably buy something at this point. How do we want to rush the shrine? It's probably a good idea. It'll speed up all our production. Yeah, Genoa's going to get the jade. Uh, but there's some copper over there. That could be useful. Uh, let's rush the shrine. And I'll uh, get everything else out faster. And yeah, this is looking pretty good so far. And except for those barbarians who keep coming after us. Let's get rid of those guys next turn. And yeah, getting four wounds right off the top, that's uh, pretty lucky there. And should uh help us out a lot. Let's hope we don't squand that later on. So desert and snow. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of desert and snow tiles around here, but that allows us to get an even better upgrade uh Later on, it's just the uh, it's a prelude to the plus one, one range, visibility range, which is really useful. Okay, and monument, and let's rush that too, just so we can get started all the faster. It's kind of strange we haven't met any other civilizations yet. You'd expect them to have come by with a scout or something, or a pathfinder. But uh, let's keep. Uh, Keep on our journey. Uh, we're just opening up the land all around us so that we have. Oh, here's a Boudicca, I think. The Celts. Courting. And. Okay. Okay. We shall talk later. Uh, I'm not entirely certain about the software I'm using to record this. Uh, or I guess my machine's a little bit old, so it's a little bit slow too. But uh, anyhow, let's keep on our uh, world journey. And right now we're just looking at the land around our capital. Oh, here comes China. Uh, Wu Zaitong. Nice to meet you. Just looking at the opening up the land around our capital so we can have uh, good ideas of where we want to found our next city. So let's uh, come down. Oh, Vancouver, six food. And come back over here. I think that's another city state over there. Oh, have we met someone else? Uh, or is this just. Uh, uh, let's not crash. This is like turn 13. I don't want to crash an update. 45 gold. Well, we've met an awful lot of mercantile city-states, so I guess that'll be good for happiness. Would have uh, preferred to have met you know, a religious or a uh, cultural city-state. But let's keep going around and see what we can find. And Zurich doesn't like us anymore. Well, let's uh, keep going north and see what else we got around here. don't think we're going to be finding any more ruins. Because it looks like uh, there's a whole bunch of civilizations to the north are coming down to visit us now. And we've got a decent amount of mountains that could be useful in the future when we're uh, building the Neuschwanstein. Um, okay, let's see what's up here. To these hills. And oh, we've got tea to the east. That would be useful. So we don't seem to have any clear monopoly uh, in the future. Oh, and got uh, Theodore, oh, Byzantium, uh, Byzantium, and let's see uh, what's... Oh, and there's a art barrier over there. Okay, so I guess we can explore over there a little bit later. And that monument is almost done. See, do we want to get this guy? Sure. Oh, not quite dead yet. So 
So it'll be interesting to see uh, what we have to the north so that we have a, a fuller picture of uh, what we can uh, settle. Okay, so we've got our two basic buildings up. Uh, let's go for a warrior because we're going to want to protect ourselves. And let's go to the next turn. And this is pretty good for production. We got the hills uh, nearby, we got a forest nearby. So yeah, I, I think we're going to have some pretty good production out of this. Okay, uh, adopt policy. Now, which do we want to go with? Um, my preference is progress. Tradition has some nice stuff in it. The trouble is, each one of these policies gives you a new building that requires a specialist. Which means that after it's all built, you're going to have six buildings in your capital that are stealing away people who could be working the land to work buildings instead. So. I don't like that because you have to have, your city has to grow really big to take advantage of all of this and still grow at a decent rate. Uh, whereas with authority, I've also used it before. Uh, it's really good in the beginning of the game, but uh, the way you get culture and uh, science out of this is by uh, killing uh, foreign units. And I just find in the late game, it uh, just doesn't give you the yields that it does in the earlier games. So I think for overall balance, progress is the best. Get a huge science boost. And uh, it's got some really nice policies here, especially Liberty, which lets you uh, start building improvements and uh, very quickly. So I think we'll go with the progress uh, for the science boost and the culture boost. Bowser. And we get to end as we right away, which is nice. So now that we have those policies, I think we're going to want to go for pottery so we can start getting out settlers. And uh, this guy is going to keep on exploring those in the barbarian camp. And let's see what's up over here. Should probably heal up that uh, scout pretty soon. I'm surprised he hasn't got the plus one visibility yet. He must be real close to it. Got, yeah, just a couple more experience and we'll get that. Vanilla! And Valletta. And they've already met a whole bunch of other civilizations. I don't have anything to give up. So, um... Let's see... Let's come over here. So, we've got Pottery and Five. So, uh, along with the warrior, that should make it possible for us to start setting up new cities. So we're going to have to want to come back and explore that little area just a little bit north of our capital. Oh, and we met Russia. Okay, hello, Приветствую тебя. Uh, okay, so we're going pretty good so far. And Got some furs over there. I don't think we'll get the furs. That's too far away. Someone else is going to settle that. And so, yeah, this is a pretty good uh, map with a whole lot of forests on it. Um, I was, uh, let's come over here and next turn. Yeah, I think we're going to want to heal up that scout. I don't want to be wandering around and blundering to a bunch of barbarians. So wait for the next turn, so oh, here's our plus one visibility range. There we go. And I think we're just gonna stand there for a turn. Oh, and Catherine's attacking the barbarians. I wonder, we might be able to steal that camp. If uh, Catherine does some damage to Shall the clay oh. say to him? Uh let's see. What do we want next? Mining. Do we need mining right away or can that wait? Um, do we have any jungle next to our city? Nope. Yeah, let's go. Oh, that's not what I want to click on. Yeah, let's go with mining next. We're gonna want to reveal iron and start digging mines pretty soon. So let's have that guy heal up one more turn. Okay, and uh, someone's taking damage over there. Let's come over here and see what's going on. Oh, and Shlam we Persia 
Ana Darihush, Malik. Hello, Darius. So that can be a little bit dangerous for later on. But um, anyway, let's now. Nah, we don't want to kill more barbarian units. Let's just keep exploring. Can't be unfounded. Um, God of the Sun. So someone's going to get some agricultural bonuses there. Uh, okay, let's see how far we. We're actually, pretty far north. Let's start coming back down. Truffles over here. Uh, warrior. So where are we going to want to put our next city? Well, if we want Lake Victoria, we're going to have to go there pretty quick. Oh, they uh, still haven't got the uh, jade. Putting it on that on top of that hill there would be excellent, especially if we can get there before the... Uh, uh, what am I thinking? Yeah, before Genoa takes it. So let's bring our warrior down there just to make sure we can get the settler. 18 turns. Will we be able to settle our city before Genoa takes the jade? Probably not. But let's give it a shot. After that, I'd like to come over there to get the silk. So, next turn. So yeah, this is going really well so far. Uh, you know, sweaters, okay. You're yeah, going on top. Oh! That's not what I wanted to do. The trouble with right clicking is so often click something you don't want to click. Uh, okay, let's go on top of the hill there. It's like you, you, the, uh, you think that the unit in the center of the screen is the one that's going to move, not the one that's actually selected that's off screen somewhere. Yeah, we got 19 more turns till we get our Pantheon, so we want to come down over here. Let's keep on going through the forest here. Okay, and we are almost back to our home village. Well, actually, we can't settle there because um, that's too close to Genoa. We have to be at least three tiles away. So maybe if we settled up there, but then we won't get the copper. Uh, let's see, scout. So I'll come down here. Okay, there's Persia over there. Okay, oh, Citrus. Oh, there's City States. Can get that. We're surrounded by City States, which is, I can be a good thing. Okay, well, first of all, where's this city gonna go? Um, upper. So we have to settle there. Or maybe right there. Because that will give us... That will be fresh water because it's on the border of a lake. And it will be close to all this other stuff. So maybe that makes more sense. But we're going to keep that guy there just to make sure barbarians don't pop up. And actually we should get... If that barbarian camp's right still there, we should do something about that. So let's buy another warrior. So that we can uh, deal with that guy. And that's not too close to Zurich, is it? No, it shouldn't be. That's too bad you can't buy settlers, but uh, I guess there's practical reasons to not allowing that. So let's start going north again. Warrior is gonna come down. Let's deal with that little camp over there. Come over this way. That guy's gonna stay there for now. And yeah, that'd be good. We get uh, the bison. And oh, yeah. Genoa already took uh, the jade. Guess if we really want it, we could get it with a great general, but we almost never do that. So let's keep going this way and see what else we can find. Another barbarian camp. And let's see, uh, this guy is going to come over here and we're going to deal with that other barbarian camp over on the west there. So we should probably come down here. Ooh, yeah. 
No, we won't be able to settle on the river there because that's too close to Vancouver. Uh, Alright, so let's keep going. See what else we can find. Sophia. Or Sophia. And uh, that's a nice look in the city state there. We haven't found any natural wonders yet other than Lake Victoria. So I'm kind of wondering where those guys are. And whoops, let's bring those guys a little closer. And we can uh, get the barbarians on the next turn. Yeah, if we settle right there, I think that will also be... No, that won't be close enough for Neuschwanstein. Yeah, thinking about you no know, uh, wonders I want to build way later in the game. Uh, Neuschwanstein is really useful for dealing with happiness, because happiness is almost always a big problem in this game, I find. Alright, so... So far, not a whole lot of culture other than uh, from our monument. Okay, let's keep going this way. Let's uh, go up on the hill and see what we can find. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of fish over there. Okay. Let's take care of this barbarian camp up here. Guy is going to come over. Oh, we should have flanked it first. Well, we don't have a flank promotion yet, so it doesn't matter. But in the future, I have to keep flanking in mind. Eleven more turns till we get our settler. And, uh... Sophia, okay. Uh, which one? We might be able to get that one. It's not too far to the north, except we have to cross all that desert. And there's forest to either side. Won't be easy to get to. That's something to keep in mind. Anyhow. Well, let's come down here, and... Yeah, let's uh, scout out that shore, because we're going to want to put a city down here eventually. So, useful to know what it looks like. And barbarian camp is gone. And I don't think that brood is going to kill our workers. At least not with one hit. No? And who brings the mark end? There is some over there. I don't think they're going to do too much to each other. Okay, he's got fish over there. Well, that's something. If we... actually, we put a city right there. Uh, that would get... two fish and the silk. But, uh, we, yeah, we still have to fill in that gap over there. So, anyhow, let's uh, take this guy north, and I think it's about time to start on the world tour. Uh, oh, flanking. And that guy is also going to get flanking points. And can we take him out? Yeah, hopefully we don't lose the guy. Don't kill my X-Men. What are those called? Barbarians. No, they're not barbarians. Warriors. Yes, don't kill my warrior. Okay, this guy is going to get supervision. So he can now see really far around. Just going to make it an awful lot easier to uncover parts of the map. Uh, okay, and I think these guys should probably be doing some healing up. Because they're in uh, terrible shape right now. And uh, we're going to be getting that settler pretty soon. So we're going to have to take a moment to think about where exactly we want to put it. But uh, we're definitely going to want to settle next to Lake Victoria somewhere, so... Uh... Prosperous. Oh, well, we've met everyone except for two people. Still haven't met the, uh, most important guy. Okay, this guy is going to keep going up here. Uh, right. Pantheon found Okay, so everyone's going to want a religion, so probably does not bode well for us getting our own pantheon, but uh, we're still going to try. I mean, uh, not pantheon, religion. Uh, let's see, got three culture. That's good. Where do we want to go now? Um, hmm. 
I wonder if there's anything over here to the west. So Darius is over to the west. Oh, and there is India. Bharti. So yeah, it looks like there is a whole lot of land over here, and it's kind of uh, cut off by that city-state and that mountain range. So maybe we should explore to the east first, and then come back around to the west. Because we're still going to be able to go through Bucharest territory if we really want to. On the other hand, we're really close there. So do we want to explore over here? I'm thinking that there probably isn't a whole lot of land over there. So let's go over there first, because it'll be faster to explore through it. And unit needs orders. Nope. Oh, end of turn. Pantheon founded. Uh, got a super Okay. Okay, enemy is near. And I think he just killed himself in our city walls. That's okay. Uh, and let's get these guys uh, a little bit back over here so that uh, we're going to have a clear path for our settler. So let's come up here. Let's go to the barbarian camp next turn. Oh, we heard something. This What's guy that can be uh, a real problem to deal with. On the plus side, it means everyone's probably going to be hitting him rather than me, which is a good thing. Russia is now a uh, god of god of all creation. So uh, we're just going to have a little bit left over at the end. So yeah, uh, with all this early religion being founded, I'm uh, thinking it won't be so easy to get our own religion. But we're still going to try. Uh, oh, no, Genghis Khan is down here to the south, so I guess that means he is over here somewhere. Well, we're going to be exploring there soon enough. Ah, uh, that guy can heal up. Next turn. I think that's all our uh, tier one technologies. Oh no, we still need the wheel. And uh, yeah, we're gonna want trade because that's really helpful to us as Morocco. And we're also gonna want the uh, plantations because uh, those are also, uh, because we have a whole lot of stuff near our capital that needs a plantation. Uh, so let's come over here. All right, yeah, there's uh, not a whole lot of land up here. So it's a good thing we uh, started it up first. Okay, next turn. Oh, there's Persia over there. So it looks like they're sort of cut off from everyone else. Okay, let's come over here. Do we want to decide a hill? Okay, and uh, I think we come back. We can come back now. Uh, let's see, that guy is going to... Oh, that guy can stay right there, because that, I think, is where we're going to be putting our city. So let's just fortify there and adopt policy. Now, which one do we... I think we're going to want to get the worker first, because it's uh, so good to start improving resources, especially at this early point. Even though this is also a really nice one to get. But let's get the her first. Uh, let's see, what do we do? We want extra food or do we want extra production? Let's go for the uh, extra food. And next turn. Pantheon founded Byzantium. Oh, yeah, uh, that's God of all creation again, but Byzantium's allowed to. Uh, take religious ideas that other civilizations have already developed. So let's bring this guy over here, come down the coast, and there's Persepolis over there. That guy is going to come down over here, 
And let's see, I think we're going to want to go immediately to... Actually, or would it be helpful to grow first? We have... We could rush the granary, but that's still seven turns to build it. On the other hand, settlers 18. I think we need more population. So let's get that granary done quick. And three more turns till we get our own pantheon. a little bit more. Go around Persepolis. Uh, one thing you have to be careful with these uh, scouts in the early game is not getting trapped behind uh, a city uh, borders. I don't think that's going to be a big problem right now. Okay, let's... Okay, uh, let me just make sure. These tiles do have fresh water, right? Yep, those are fresh water. So, uh, which is really useful for some sort of city buildings later on. So, and that is a hill, isn't it? Where's that plains? No, nope, that just had the uh, ruins of the barbarian camp there, so it looked like there was a hill there, but there wasn't really. Okay, and next turn. It's Byzantium. Uh, I guess there's some barbarians up there somewhere, judging based on all that damage. Okay, I'm gonna continue our world tour over here. Well, let's see what we find along the coast. Not much. Okay, and do we want to settle? I think it makes more sense to settle right here. So we get the wine, we get um, the bison. We could steal the jade. So it's not going to be a fantastic city, but uh, it will plug a hole. And uh, the next thing we can put up there so we can get some better resources. And we get the wonder. So let's build that. And let's go for a little production. Well, we're gonna get those guys pretty soon. So let's start by building a shrine just to push the religion a little bit faster. Um, I'm hopeful. And in any case, uh, this is the end of the first. Uh, I think this is a good place to cut it because we're at about the half hour mark. So uh, thanks for watching, uh, it looks promising, and uh, come back next time and we can play more Civilization 5. Thank you.